An interesting question to think about is what would happen if Earth collided with another planet? Which is pretty much the topic for today's video. There are a few disastrous consequences that we may encounter in the process, and we would possibly experience a few positive changes as well if Earth collided with another planet. The whole idea of two planets colliding probably sounds like a science fiction, but when we look closely at NASA reports and findings, it may have actually been a reality not too long ago. There is the notion that two rocky exoplanets are thought to have collided some years back, and the results seemed quite catastrophic. Following this collision, NASA detected very high levels of debris in the solar system. Aside from that, according to a NASA research scientist known as Jan Heldman, there is a huge possibility that the moon was formed out of debris thrown into the Earth's orbit following a massive collision between a planetoid that was about the size of Mars and a smaller proto-Earth. Well, based on this, we can establish that if Earth collided with another planet, another moon would be formed. In as much so, there is also the possibility that Earth colliding with another planet may be a disastrous encounter with no survivors on Earth left. Well, let us try and explore the timeline of how things would play out from the onset of a collision to the results. Prior to the collision, let's say a few weeks, days, then hours to the collision. A few weeks to the collision, an unknown object would suddenly appear in the sky and you may notice Earth starting to grow bigger for some reason. When the other planet comes into the Earth's orbit, its gravitational pull would make the Earth's tide larger than they already are and floods would begin to damage the coastline cities. A few hours to the collision, the gravitational pull of both planets would begin to drag closer to each other and speed up the process, and there would be a possibility of mega tsunamis. Alongside the mega tsunamis, there would be intense lightning storms, hurricanes, and tornadoes, which have the potential to wipe out everyone on Earth. When looking into a few minutes to the collision, the rogue planet would enter the Earth's atmosphere and completely filling the Earth's sky. In the process, the intensity of the earthquakes, floods, volcanoes, hurricanes, and mega tsunamis would increase drastically. Just a few seconds before the collision, the atmosphere of both planets would be compressed together and begin to glow brightly. In the process, the temperatures would be much higher than usual. It would get hot, and everything in Earth would vaporize instantly, and the ground would suddenly become scorching magma. So what really happens upon impact? There would be a lot of friction between the two planets due to the collision. Once the friction is higher, the rotation of both planets would be much slower than it already is. And in the long run, the friction could stop the rotation of both planets in their orbits. The superheated rocks would then begin to send a wall of fire in all directions of the Earth, and the shockwave running across the Earth would inundate the Earth in a very short period of time. Earth's inner core, on the other hand, would be melting from inwards out, and slowly the entire Earth would collapse. How about the aftermath? We can establish that the aftermath is definitely an end of era, and possibly the remnants of both planets would be pulled together and merged into different orbits. Some would spread out to other planets, while a lot of debris would be thrown out to the solar system entirely. Inasmuch as planet-to-planet -planet collision is dated to a long time ago, rest assured, that it isn't really something that would happen anytime soon. Unless otherwise stated by NASA scientists. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you remember any instances when you were told that the world was coming to an end based on planet-to-planet -planet collision? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe.